Hello, beautiful friend. Welcome back to another episode of The Whole Voice. I'm your host, Allie Tyler, and this show is designed to bring a little more consciousness, courage, and creativity into your everyday life. So today is a really exciting day because we're going to be talking about something that is probably one of the most common questions I get as a voice teacher, but also just one of those things that most everybody feels when they sing, whether it's in the shower or it's in the car or it's blasting your favorite song on the radio, whatever the case may be, the question that you may have asked yourself is how do I find my singing voice? Now this is interesting because I think a lot of us think that our singing voice is lost. Let me tell you right now, your voice is not lost. Your voice is already within you. So rather than thinking about finding your singing voice, I want you to think about accessing your singing voice, accessing the different qualities of your voice, the range of your voice, maybe the different styles of your voice, right? So we do this by really getting comfortable with what we sound like. So in today's episode, you're going to walk away with three ways that you can start accessing and exploring your own voice. I know that as humans, we start getting really addicted to the other singers that we hear, right? Like if you're singing with someone on the radio or you're singing to any of your favorite songs, we naturally are going to start wanting to and habitually sounding like whatever it is that we are listening to. This is not a problem. It's just something that might inhibit us from exploring our own voice, from seeing what we sound like without referencing or relying on the other singers that we're listening to. Which brings me to a question that I hear a lot, which is, is it bad to mimic other people? Well, tip number one is to mimic other people in different styles. Mimicking is a good thing. Emulating is a good thing. It really is. I mean, my greatest teacher when I was 11 years old and I was singing all kinds of pop stuff was Mariah Carey. Mariah Carey taught me how to riff. She taught me how to belt. She taught me how to use different styles and different timbres of her voice. Oh, she just does all these like really cool, insane things with her voice, and it is so fun to emulate. So emulating is not a bad thing. What emulating does is it teaches us how to use different parts of our voice because we hear other people using different parts of their voice. Don't be afraid of emulating. What we want to be doing is emulating in different styles. If you're always emulating Selena Gomez or you're always mimicking John Legend, I don't know, whoever it is that you listen to, then you're only going to be hearing that one sound and that one quality over and over again. Also, if you're only emulating things in folk music or in pop music or in musical theater, then you are kind of like that one trick pony where that's cool, you can sound like that one style, but how much more fun and how much more can you explore when you try all of the different styles, when you listen to all of the different singers and you start emulating all of them? Which brings me to tip number two, which is to sing by yourself without the other singers. Maybe it's a karaoke track, maybe it's a backing track, maybe it's a cappella. Now this is where you're really gonna start feeling confident with your own voice, right? We've emulated because we want to educate ourselves on the different styles and the different qualities from other singers Thank you very much. And now we're going to practice singing and doing all those cool things by ourselves. Now, fair warning, this is always a little bit awkward at first. Every time that my students do this assignment where they start really singing by themselves, let's say that they put on a karaoke track and they sing along with it, but they don't hear the backup singers or, you know, obviously the lead singer, it can feel really alarming at first. So just give yourself lots and lots of love and lots and lots of grace. Singing is vulnerable. Don't forget, it's intimate and it can often feel a little bit awkward the more that you get out of your own way, the more enjoyable this is. Which leads me to tip number three. Funny how all of those led to one another, which is to be an observer 
rather than a critic. When you put on the hat of observation only, no judgment zone, it actually makes it really interesting to get to know your voice. It's just like you're just getting acquainted with what's going on in there, right? Like if you haven't accessed these different parts of your voice, then why on earth would you judge yourself for not sounding good right away? I mean, that's expecting like me to go down a ski mountain that I have never skied before. That is like, what do they call it? A black diamond thing? I don't even know. Black? Black? (laughs) If I go down that really steep fast mountain and I have not even skied the blue or the green, you know what I mean. I just would not survive that. I would not do well. And also, I can't judge myself for that because I don't know how to ski. So if you don't know how to sing and you haven't figured out how to access those different qualities and styles and ranges of your voice, by all means, do not judge yourself for that. Be an observer, not a critic. And with that, I hope that you will take these three tips to continue accessing and exploring and expressing your voice because trust me when I say everyone can sing. Everyone was born with this beautiful instrument. And guess what? No one on the planet was born with your instrument. That is what is the beauty of singing. That is what the beauty is of accessing and quote, finding your voice. Because when you start really finding and expressing your voice, not only does it feel so good for you, it feels so good for us because we've never heard it before. So don't be afraid of exploring and expressing that beautiful singing voice of yours. I can't wait to hear how these things go. And let me know which one is your favorite tip. Which one are you going to do this week? Which was the one that really resonated with you where you were like, I'm going to try that. I'm going to do that. Let me know. Was it number one? Are you going to mimic singers in different styles? Was it number two? Are you going to sing by yourself without listening to other singers, maybe with a karaoke track or acapella? Or was it number three to become the observer and not the critic every time you sing. Let me know which way you are going to try this week so that you can explore and express your whole voice. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode, be sure to share and subscribe and just, you know, spread the love. We are all trying to find and express our voices. And man, what fun it is to do through singing. So if you know somebody who would enjoy this episode, be sure to pass it along to them. I can't wait to get to know you over on Instagram. You can follow me at The Whole Voice. You can also follow my blog at The Whole Voice. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will catch you in the next episode.